Hi, welcome to Take Your Time. This is Somajit Das. In this video, we are going to discuss Kotlin Flow APIs. And in this particular video, we are going to mostly focus Flow APIs to different operators. One is zip, another is combine. Now, if you are coming from Rx background, it will be easier for you to grasp. But again, I will make sure that if you are even not coming from any uh, previous experience of working with reactive programming but still it will be easier for you to understand now let's just first uh, talk about zip so uh, as the name suggests zip what it does is it combines corresponding values of two different flows now it has to be called from one flow like I have called from here if you see this you can see that I have called so this is one flow and using this one I have called this is the nums and using this one I have called the zip operator so that's what I, have, I am trying to say it has to be called from one flow and we have to provide a transform function which will be used to zip the two flows now what is the transform function for me the transform function has been passed inside the lambda like this so it takes two arguments and it produces another uh, output and this is the transform function for me now one thing to remember guys for zip the resulting flow that means the resulting the value that will come out of the flow that will complete as soon as one of the flows completes and then the flow will be cancelled on the remaining remaining part so what i am trying to say is if there are two different flows like this one if you consider this flow has three different items but this flow it has four items so what will happen if we are going way ahead going ahead and zipping these two i these two flows as soon as this i this flow will be completed the flow resulting flows emission will be completed and the leftover this one when this this one's turn will never come because afterwards the flow will be cancelled so when we'll talk about this uh, basically when we'll go through the example we will see that how it acts now another thing to notice guys in case of zip when one uh, flow emits after some delay from another one so let's suppose this is this flow we have put a delay of 300 millisecond but for this one we have put a delay of 400 millisecond now what will happen for this case what happens is in case of in case like this thing comes this flow zip operator is a kind of operator which will wait for both the flows to come to it so that it can work on it and it can produce the resulting output so it will be a combination of both the flows right but what happens in case of combine that will come later on okay so let's just let me just show you the outputs so what will happen if you see that this is the uh, this is the app that we have built as soon as i click on this zip normal this function gets called as soon as I give call to this one zip when one completes before another this one gets called when I call this zip when one emits after some delay this one will get called now combine we will talk about it after the examples for zip so let me just run zip normal if you see in the output we can say one one two two three three so what we have passed in zip normal example one two three there was one flow and the another flow was one two three in uh, in words now what happens one comes as a and this one comes as b and it produces one arrow b uh, one arrow this one so it is like this and simultaneously here comes two and here comes two so these two produce this one here comes three here and here comes the numeric three uh, sorry here comes the numeric 3 here and here comes the word 3 and it produces this so it's very easy zip what it does it combines two flows now 
let me just run zip when one completes before another so this will get completed and there will be one item left over and we'll see if what happens with this item so if i run this one zip when one completes before another if you see the four the word four never got the chance because as as i already told you guys if one of the flow is completed then the resulting flow produced by zip will get completed and the uh, and the cancel will be called for the next things if there is any flow which has leftover items okay now let me just show you when zip when one emits after some delay so what happens in this case in this case the first one will have a 300 millisecond delay and the fourth second one will have 400 millisecond delay so when one has been emitted from here this one will be emitted but when uh, this flow will start emitting two at that time also this two will not be there for the first 100 millisecond afterwards this two will come so we'll see what is the output so we'll just run it zip when one emits and after some delay okay okay now you see that the whenever we work on zip it will wait for both the flows to emit values and then only it will work now if this is the case what is the difference between them zip and combine why we are learning combine all of a sudden again why there is another operator it should it sh this question should come to your mind so basically the difference between combine and zip is combine also combines the corresponding values of two different flows but the basic difference is in case of combine it combines the most recently emitted values by each flow you have to make it very clear it combines the most recently emitted values by each flow and it has to recompute the result it has to recompute the result whenever any of the upstream flows emits a new value so what happens is if i run this you will have a proper understanding but let me make it very clear for you where at the first 300 millisecond one will be there and for the first 400 millisecond this one will be there but in the meantime in the 100 millisecond this two will come but in that 100 millisecond there will be only this one because two will come once the 400 millisecond time gets over so what happens is if i just run it you will get the proper idea so let me just run it once so if you see one one two one two two three two three three so if i just try to draw some line over here so let me draw it like this and let me just put it like this that okay so uh, let's suppose sorry let's suppose this is 300 millisecond okay and this is 400 millisecond okay so the first 300 millisecond what is the value for the first flow first flow it is having one and in the next 300 millisecond when the next 300 will come so if i draw like this and the next 300 is there and if i make it here also for you to understand properly so it's it's getting a bit bigger yeah now it works so here this flow has this is let me make it very clear for you so this is flow one and this is uh, just a differentiator so this is for us flow two yeah so here in the first 300 millisecond this has a value of one and here this has the value of two right and for the first for the second flow for the first 400 millisecond it has the value one and here it has the value of 2 but if you see there is this gap right this 2 here this 100 there is a 100 millisecond gap here so in that case what is the value of flow 1 flow 1 will have the value of 2 here right and what is the value here 
here all here it is one so in that is why you are seeing that one one and then two one but afterwards this flow two will produce uh, will emit the item two and i have already told you that if it if uh, there is a new ups if if there is a new value that has been emitted from the upstream flows then the resultant flow has to recompute in case of combine and that is what it does when this 2 has been again emitted it has recomputed the value and it, it got 2 2 and simultaneously it got 3 2 and 3 3 so these are the basic difference of zip and combine so that's it guys for this particular video we have understood the zip of the operator as well as the combine operator and what are the basic differences between these two and when we should use zip and when we should use combine now probably in the name and i i believe that uh, whatever we have covered as of now in kotlin flow series we have got the prerequisites for us to build an app with using kotlin flow so probably in from the next video of kotlin flow i will focus on uh, retrofit room database and kotlin flow to build up an application for you guys and make you understand that where and how you can use kotlin flow in your day-to-day -day android applications and probably i am going to use mbvm architecture along with kotlin language for the app so stay tuned and uh, uh, take care guys and i'll see you soon in the next video so till then uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon so that you can definitely get the update whenever i put the next video because next video is going to be very good and beneficial for you to learn kotlin flow till then bye